Hi there, this is Anna, and today I'd like to talk about your tribe. So your tribe does not need to be your birth family. Your tribe is the people that you resonate with the most, that you spend time with, that bring out the best in you. So your vibe actually attracts your tribe. So who you are being in this world, what kind of energy you're putting out there is actually calling and magnetizing the right people to you who vibrate at a similar frequency. So some people are in our lives for a specific reason, sometimes to teach us a lesson. Some people are in our lives for a season and some people are in there for a lifetime. So the more you can authentically express who you truly are, you'll be surrounding yourself with the people who match you on an energetic level. And then we go through stages in our lives where we evolve and we change and we grow and we expand. And sometimes these people grow with us. Sometimes these people stay in our tribe because we're on a similar journey and we're going toward a similar direction. And then the sad reality is that there are other people who are not going in the same direction anymore. Two paths can go down two different roads at that point, or you can just realize that you don't value the same things, you don't want the same things in your life. And that's okay, because not every relationship is meant to last an entire lifetime. But the tribe and the company you keep says a lot about the person you are. When we're doing any work on self-development and growth, oftentimes we can mirror ourselves in those that are around us. So we can look to our friends and family and whoever we spend the most amount of time with. And we can actually look at the things that we like about them and the things we don't like about them. And then we can turn that back around on ourselves and notice that we probably have some similarities. So if somebody is rubbing you the wrong way, it could be because they have a trait that you either have as well, but you haven't embodied or you haven't even looked at because you buried it so deep inside. Or they could just be being an inconsiderate person and that is that. But I invite you to always look at the relationships in your life from an angle of growth. What could you learn more about yourself from the interactions with these people? And then cherish those people who are in your life who just help you to shine brighter, who encourage you to blossom, who stand by you and support you in your decisions, who help you see things that you may have missed that are important. Those kind of people in your life are the ones you need to cherish, the ones you need to tell them how much you appreciate them, the roles that they play for you in this life, and keep them close to your heart because these kind of relationships are very, very magical. And I hope that you have at least one person in your life who is like this for you because we all deserve to have people in our lives who help us become better humans. So remember, the vibe you emit attracts your tribe. So if you don't like something about the people you're hanging around with, you need to try to stop trying to change them. Instead, turn it around on yourself and see how could you improve yourself as a human being. Because once you make changes to yourself, you will start vibrating at a different level. And like I said, the people will either go with you to where you're at that level, or they'll just fall away at, by the wayside because you guys are no longer resonating together. It's really that simple. And it's nothing's personal. It's just vibrational. So thank you so much for watching. And remember to cherish your tribe because once you find the good ones and their keepers, you want them to know how special they are to you. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day.